What's up beautiful subscribers and viewers, um, this is Josh Blotton here. I'm um, going to take you through my first vlog. It's going to be back. It's going to be uh, heavy rose day, or as heavy as I can go. Currently in comp prep at the moment, um, eight weeks out. So don't have the most amount of energy, but um, getting through the workouts pretty well. So hopefully we'll see where we go today. Um, we'll just give you a bit of an insight, pre-workout, what my meal is. So. This is my food here, so I'll have 100 grams of basmati rice. Um, so we'll weigh it up with the scales, just there. Then I'll have 200 grams of tuna in spring water. Um, and I'll mix it in all in this bowl. Smash it down, and then we'll, uh, we'll get into it. So it takes about 20 minutes to get to the gym. So sip BCAs on the way. I'll have pre-workout when we get to the gym. Um, I'll warm up on the treadmill usually for about five to ten minutes uh, then we'll go on the, the roller just foam roller just from my back and then we'll get stuck in it so let's get it let's get, get, get it well, I will pass me by if I don't open up my eyes so that's fine by me so wake me up when he's all over What's up guys, Josh Blotton here, as you can see we're doing pull-ups, uh, I like to start my back up exercise off always with pull-ups, um, usually three sets till failure, uh, you can see in this clip I get about 10, try and make sure that I keep the form correct, so I pull myself all the way up, just try to remember that your, uh, your back, your lats are the pivot point, uh, not your arms, you're not pulling yourself up with your arms, but more so contracting your back, your lats. Always have overhand, overhand grip, sorry. Um, I find under underarm grip tends to focus a bit on your bicep as opposed to just your back. So always overhand grip and just really stretch it out. So as I said, three sets, get the muscles all stretched and ready to work out. moving over to rack deadlifts. Whilst pull-ups do ex obviously exercise and, and strengthen and build your back muscles, uh, my first working set is usually deadlifts from the floor or as you can see here the rack. The um, reason I'm doing the rack is just to keep that constant contraction. I did four sets of 10 to 12. Um, as you can see I'm using a, a back belt. Uh, a lot of people don't know this but the back belt is actually for your, your, your stomach muscles, your front stomach muscles to push out onto the front of the belt so that it releases pressure off your lower back. So, um, Second exercise is bent over barbell rows. Um, as you can see I am using straps, figure eight straps. During this comp prep my, uh, my strength and energy based due to carb, lack of carbs has, has come down so I've um, my grip strength has been compensated due to that, so that, that, hence the, the use of the straps. Um, most of the year I won't use straps, I like the overhand grip, but um, to lift the heavy weight I, I've had to adopt straps. Isolated one arm machine rows. Perfect to keep your body in that nice fixed position and just contract on your back muscles. So obviously isolated, so you're working one one side at a time, so you, you can focus on different strengths. One side's weaker than the other, then you can add weight accordingly. Uh, obviously you don't wanna build one side bigger than the other, so this is really good to, to hone in and zone in on wh which side you're sort of lacking on. Obviously everything's about symmetry, so we wanna look proportioned, and this is a great exercise how we can help that. Here we have one of my favourite back exercises guys, straight arm rope pull downs. 
really good tweaking exercise just to really tweak and define your back muscles make sure you keep your butt sticking out your legs bent arms nice and straight no bend at the elbows it's not a tricep push down um, and just really contract with your back so keep your head up and just really feel the burn so three sets of 10 to 12 again During comp prep, guys, I've been finishing off all my exercises with an FST7 um, workout. So, FST7, um, if any of you haven't heard, uh, was developed by Hank Rainbow, which is current Mr. Olympia Phil Heath's trainer. Um, he developed this, this training um, system at the end of your workouts. Um, FST7 stands for Fascia Stretch Training. Uh, the seven is for seven sets so generally what you do is you do seven sets of 10 to 12 reps keep your weight heavy but your rest period in between each set is 30 to 45 seconds now in between each set uh, Haney encourages you to stretch your muscles or sip on water just to keep the blood inside your muscles and not let it escape and keep your, your fascia muscles stretching so um, long story short the body has Sorry, people generally have three different types of, of fascia muscle fibers. So they can either be extremely dense and thick or nice and thin. Guys like Ronnie Coleman, Phil Heath will have a nice thin fascia, which um, helps them get a nice full-bodied muscle. So people that don't obviously have to adopt the FST7 training, which can um, help you get that overall better look. We're up all night to get lucky. 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 We're up all night to get lucky.